here with Coach Edwards after huge 2-1 victory over UTEP. First time we beat UTEP in program history. Coach, got the game winner just under four minutes ago. Just immediate reaction on your team's performance today and, and how big the win was. Yeah, right now we're not playing the best looking soccer, but we are just flat out competing, right? And compete to the end. You can give up a goal late, you know, after being ahead for 60 minutes or so, give up a goal late and be crushed. We went back to being disciplined, getting the ball wide, running at people who were relentless up front, right? And I think we're one of those teams, if defensively we can keep games to zero and one, we can get enough goals, right? And Kate did brilliant, Kiki, good final goal. Kate running at him, just relentless, selfless work. And, and then we earned a PK. We talk about winning the set piece game, and we won the set piece game today. Awesome. So, Coach, fourth consecutive game that you've gotten off to a quick start, jumped out to an early 1-0 lead. What has your team been able to do well to get out to these early leads and get started so early with high intensity? Yeah, I think everyone's just simplifying back to the process. What's our job? Work hard, compete, do it together, right? And they're starting off high, and then what I really love is the players subbing in. They, they bring another level. The players on the bench that maybe don't get the minutes, they're bringing the level. They're high-fiving. They're, they're adding energy to every single person that's on this team, and it's, it's great. Awesome. So, Coach, on top of this being the best start in program history, it's taught, you've now tied the long, our most consecutive wins in program history as well. And this was also, like I said earlier, your first win over Utah. What does this win mean for the program, and how impressed are you with the start to the year? Yeah, I mean, Conference USA is a good conference. So to knock off a Conference USA opponent is very, very difficult. You know, but, you know, and, and we had everything. We had the long road trip, got stuck in Memphis. So we had every reason to be too tired, and, and some of our kids were. And we were able to rotate players and play, and everyone's been training so hard. Um, it, it was a good team team result. And like I said, it's not the prettiest, but to, to start to become a good team, you have to win pretty, but sometimes you just got to find ways to win, and, and this group's found a way. Awesome. So, Coach, you got a little bit of time off until your next game. What do you think your team needs to work on the most, and uh, what, what are your goals in training for the next week or so? Yeah, well, I mean, we got to recover. We just played four games in about eight, nine days. So, actually, seven days. Four, four games in seven days. Um, you know, so I think it's right now recover, get their mind right, get ready for school next week, do all those things. We have a lot of locals that will probably go home, give them a couple days off, and get ready for a very good South Dakota team. I think they, they lost in the finals in the Summit League last year and a top, top Fullerton team before going in. So it's getting our mind right, our body right, um, understanding how we got here, which is by focusing on the process and not, not the final product and just doing our jobs. Awesome. Thanks, Coach. Go team.